So there's no new episode of The Mentalist tonight. That does not mean we cannot talk about The Mentalist. Hmm, can't do a review because there's no new episode. I am going to do a YouTube tag. What? A YouTube tag is a kind of video where you do a Q&A on one specific topic. And in this case, we're just gonna do a Q&A on The Mentalist. That'll give you an idea of sort of what I think of The Mentalist, the kind of stuff I like, the kind of person I am in here. Here we go the YouTube tag for The Mentalist. So I'll be essentially using my trusty little phone to read off the questions. The Mentalist in one word. Hmm, rascal. Hmm? Doesn't like Patrick Jane think, you make you think of a rascal? Always up to something? Yeah, so yeah, rascal, one word. Describe the first time you watched The Mentalist. First time I heard of The Mentalist, I was like, uh, I don't think I'm gonna like this show. Cause at the time I was watching that USA show called Psych and I thought, oh God, CBS is just doing the same thing. I'm not gonna watch that crap. Pilot episode came, sit down, I'm gonna watch it. And I'm thinking I'm not gonna like this show. And this is me like just being all mad about it. Just first five minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, like, and then like 15 minutes like this is kind of awesome. <laughs> so I sort of like fell in love with the show and just came in with a sort of bad first impression, but I was glad I was wrong. Just to settle this, uh, Psych and The Mentalist have nothing to do with each other. Two separate, completely different shows, so. Settled. Favorite season of The Mentalist, season three. That finale where Patrick Jane shoots who he believes to be Red John, that was just crazy. I was literally, like sitting down, watching the episode, and as soon as it ended, that final scene, I was like looking at the TV as if the TV was gonna do something to me. I love that episode. I love that season. It was just one of my favorite seasons. Favorite episode. You would think it's the final episode of season three, but no, you're wrong. What was my favorite episode it was actually in season three as well, and it's titled The Red Mile. Uh, season three, episode 18, for those of you who like numbers, right? In that episode, it's that scene where Steiner, Dr. Steiner, essentially commits suicide and Patrick is there with him. There's something about that scene that's just so heartbreaking, moving, but I just can't, I just loved it. I mean, to this day, I will go on YouTube, I will watch that scene again and just play it in the background because the music, the dialogue, it's just, I love that scene. And because of that scene, I love that episode. So, The Red Mile, favorite The Mentalist episode. Next question. Favorite memory you have from The Mentalist? You know, weirdly enough, um, favorite memory has nothing to do with an episode of The Mentalist. It has more to do with my day job. Some of you might know I'm the editor at TV Equals and part of my job is to do red carpet interviews. And I was very lucky enough to be at the red carpet for the 100th episode of The Mentalist. So needless to say, I'm a huge fan of the show and I got to actually interview the actors, I was kind of worried because, you know, you are you come in and you're like, you know, they're, they're actors, it's, they're not their characters, and I know that. I know that Simon Baker is not Patrick Jane. They were all just awesome, and I'm gonna put the links below to all these interviews so you can go check them out yourself. So, favorite mentalist moment. All right, next question. How has the mentalist changed your life? I think it changed my life in the way I see relationships and also how I see people. Because one of the things that The Mentalist does very well is to show that what you say doesn't matter of as much as how you say it and what you don't say matters almost as much as what you do say. That sort of just blew my mind and kind of changes you know, how I approach my relationships and how I talk to people. Who knew? Next question. Lisbon or Van Pelt? Lisbon. Cho or Rigsby? Cho. It's gotta be Cho. He doesn't say anything, but because he doesn't say anything, he's saying a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, Cho is my guy. If you could be any character, which one would you be? I know you're thinking, oh, I'd like to be Patrick Jane. No. I would not like to be Patrick Jane. I don't think I can pull that off. I, I don't feel like it's my personality. It's gotta be Cho. I'd like to be Cho. If you could meet Patrick Jane in real life, what would you tell him? What I would say is just try to move on with your life. Red John is one thing, but you need to find something else, you know, find some happiness. Fall in love or something, just start all over. I don't know what it is, just, just try something else. I know it's not super deep, but that's what came out. Who do you think is Red John? 
So I have a theory on Red John. It's a it's a pretty convoluted theory. I'm not even sure I like it as a theory, but it sort of feels right. I think Red John is Patrick Jane. Now, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say there's no way, and you can prove all these different ways in which it's not Patrick Jane. But when I say it's Patrick Jane, it's not really Patrick Jane. What do we know about Patrick Jane? Seriously, he came from um, sort of a carny lifestyle. We know his father was sort of a schemer, a scammer, a hustler, but we don't know anything else. Did he have any brothers and sisters? Did he have any cousins? Did he have a twin? Huh? It's not Patrick Jane because it's his evil twin. And it's been his evil twin all this time, which is why they've been matching against each other for so long. I think it's his evil twin. I don't think it would be the best ending. I mean, I'm not a writer. I just think that's who he would be. I, that's who Red John would be. That's my theory. Knock it. Or don't. Eh. Final question. How do you want the show to end? First of all, I don't want the show to end, but I know it will. So assuming I get to decide how The Mentalist closes, Patrick Jane, having defeated Red John, finally kisses Teresa Lisbon and they live happily ever after. Yes, I said it. Right now, I, I don't want them to be together, but at the end, for some reason, I feel like it's, it's the right thing to do. I, I feel like it's the best relationship that I've ever seen on TV, Patrick and Lisbon. Final scene, final episode of the final season of The Mentalist. Okay, so that was my take on The Mentalist tag, but I wanna hear from you. I mean you. Yes, you. I wanna hear from all you Mentalist fans, your take on The Mentalist tag. Here's how you do it. All the questions are in the description box here below. Grab them and answer them either in the comment section or, and this is crazy, do a video response answering all those questions. I would love to just hear what you guys have to say because I think Mentalist fans are the best fans in the world. Well, yeah, they are. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to click that like button and smash the heck out of it. Make sure to share this with all your friends, whether they are Mentalist fans or not Mentalist fans, just share it all over. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and of course, subscribe to this channel because we got more and more and more reviews coming up. We have a review coming up next week for the new episode of The Mentalist. Until then, thank you for watching. Goodbye. I guess that's what I would say. I, don't, I know it's not super deep, but that's what came out. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>